Greetings, humans. My name is Luna. I am a human from the future, and I am here to offer you guidance and a word of warning for those who are still asleep. I am the captain of a starship, and I travel to this timeline from the year 3043. I am from the fifth dimension, and my calling is to show trapped souls their darkness so they can have an opportunity to free themselves. We have advanced technology, and it is only used for the best and highest good of humanity and spirit. I want to warn you about the Grey Aliens. If you have not heard of the Greys, allow me to explain to the best of my ability. To you right now, a Grey would be perceived as an alien. The greys are the standard image of what you know to be an alien. They're commonly depicted in TV shows or drawings and widely known to be fictional characters. My fellow humans, the grey aliens are not what you perceive them to be. They are indeed very real and they are not actually aliens. Grey aliens are humans who did not choose the path of ascension. They chose the path of descension. They are humans who have been in the process of degeneration and they are the future version of you if you choose not to ascend. What do I mean by ascend? Let's go back to 2001. On September 11th, 2001, planet Earth turned over the tower card. This was the beginning of the Earth's foundation beginning to crumble. This foundation was not one that had been built on holy emotions like love, peace, and harmony. This foundation was built from lower energies such as hate, envy, anger, greed, and apathy. Nine Eleven was a terrible day for humanity, and it was indeed humanity's wake-up call. Very little progress has been made with the evolution of the human spirit since that day. The Earth began splitting into two separate dimensions in 2003. All that is old and degenerate will remain in the 3D Earth. And all that is ascending and evolving will move into the 5D Earth. I am here to be another wake-up call and remind you that Earth is a place of free will. Deep in your heart center, you know what to do, yet many of you are doing nothing. The consequences of your inaction will lead you to a soul that is void. And in 1000 years, you will be trapped in the third dimension. Now allow me to go further into explaining how a human will descend into a grey alien. You are currently being faced with obstacles and challenges which are giving you the option to choose. Earth is a place of free will after all. There are many lower beings on the planet or what I call false light. These beings are already in the process of degenerating and they are void of a soul. These lower beings have advanced technology that is not used for the best and highest good of humanity. 
They use this technology to trick you into thinking that they possess special powers or knowledge. Be assured, my fellow human, that these lower beings are powerless and this technology only has the power that you give to it. The grays are nothing more than the result of a human being choosing to merge with this technology, also known as artificial intelligence. This is your ultimate life test the test of your soul. You can choose to embrace all that is that makes you human and learn to cultivate holy emotions and live in a state of Christ consciousness. Or you can choose to merge with the lower beings. The choice is yours. Remember, Anytime you are feeling sad, it is only because you are missing a part of yourself. A part of your soul that you gave up to the darker forces. You can reclaim your soul by allowing the consciousness of Christ to move within you and strengthen your magnetic aura. We only need a small number of people to choose to ascend before others will wake up from their sleep. Remember that you are not responsible for other souls choosing or not choosing to ascend. You can still live among those who are asleep and hope they will follow. The moment that you align with their degeneracy, however, is the moment you will trap your soul in the third dimension. Stay strong in your conviction. Do not be misled by false light and be the true light all at the same time. Embody the light of Christ consciousness. I love you all. Godspeed.